Hello everybody and welcome to Law and Society. Today I'm going to go over Judge Chutkin's short protective order again uh, imposed on all interested parties in the matter of the DC criminal c conspiracy trial. So if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Let's dive in. I'm going to read uh, the pertinent part at the end first, and then I will uh, read some of the other parts. So the substance of the order goes as such. Pursuant to local criminal rule 57.7c, it is hereby ordered that all interested parties in this matter, including the parties and their counsel, are prohibited from making any public statements or directing others to make any public statements that target one, the special counsel prosecuting this case or his staff, number two, defense counsel or their staff, number three, any of this court staff or other supporting personnel, or four, any reasonably foreseeable witness or the substance of their testimony. So that is the basic fundamental order limit of Judge Chutkin's gag order. This order is, as I had mentioned before, applies to all interested parties broadly and then specifically to special counsel and their staff, defense counsel and their staff, court staff, and any foreseeable witness on the substance of their testimony. So as it pertains to the case, judge denied some portions of the uh, DOJ's request, uh, saying that a lot of the uh, things that, uh, that DOJ requested could be reasonably solved by the voir dire jury selection process. So, uh, with that having said, the judge said, under binding Supreme Court precedent, this court must take steps by rule and regulation that will protect its processes from prejudicial outside interferences. The First Amendment does not override the, that obligation. Although, so freedom of discussion should be given the widest range of compa uh, range compatible with the essential requirement of the free and orderly administration of justice. In order to safeguard the integrity of these proceedings, it is necessary to impose certain restrictions on public statements by interested parties. Because defendant has publicly attacked individuals, including on matters related to this case, and those individuals have been consequently threatened and harassed. Since his indictment, even after the government filed the instant motion, defendant has continued to make similar statements attacking individuals involved in the judicial process, including potential witnesses, prosecutors, and court staff. Defendant has made those statements to national audiences, but also that particular individuals involved in it are liars or thugs or deserve death. The court finds that such statements pose a significant and immediate risk that witness will be intimidated or otherwise unduly influenced by the prospect of being themselves targeted for harassment or threats, and two, Attorneys, public servants, and other staff will themselves become targets for threats and harassment. The risk is largely irreversible in the age of the internet. So once the individual is targeted, they become targets of future threats and harassment. This court has found that even amidst his political campaign, defendant's statements pose sufficiently grave threats to the integrity of the proceedings that cannot be addressed by alternative means, and it has tailored its order 
to meet the force of those threats. Thus, limited restrictions on extrajudicial statements are justified here. The order is not, can, cannot, should not be construed to prohibit statements criticizing the government, including the Department of Justice, statements criticizing prosecution saying that it's politically motivated, criticizing campaign platforms or defendants' current political ri rivals. So Donald Trump can go out and say these things about Department of Justice and political motivation despite the fact that there's no truth to the matter. But what he can't do is target people who are involved in the case on substance of what's in the case. So as I read to you uh, Judge Wallace's uh, gag order from State Colorado Court, and I'm reading to you now this one, from Judge Chutkin, you see the similarities where both judges applied the order to all interested parties and then narrowed it down by their local rules and their reasonings to whom that applies. It is a very uh, short written order, but it does a fantastic job of summarizing the threat that is posed and the rationale behind why Judge Chutkin has decided to impose this order. Judge Chutkin denied the order, like I said, for DOJ on many uh, of the uh, protective matters that they talked about, saying that a lot of the jury pool question, the, the integrity of the jury pool, can be addressed during the jury selection slash voir dire process. So it's a pretty clear cut gag order. I want to remind everybody that this is not the first gag order that has been imposed on Donald Trump. It is simply the first federal gag order to be imposed on Donald Trump. Judge Wallace from the state of Colorado applied a gag order in the disqualification uh, clause case that is going through the courts there. Judge Engoron in New York placed a gag order after Donald Trump attacked one of his staff. Judge Chutkin, before this gag order, already applied a protective order that prohibited parties from disclosing discovery materials. And Donald's favorite federal judge, Judge Eileen Cannon, also imposed a protective order prohibiting, prohibiting parties from divulging discovery materials. So there are several protective orders that have been imposed now, not just one, but this one is the loudest bang because it is in D.C. and it is coming from the criminal conspiracy case against Donald Trump where he tried to conspire against the United States. So that's today's conversation, discussion, explanation. I say discussion because I welcome your engagement and your questions, your comments. So please comment and uh, leave any questions you have at the comment box and I'll be more than happy to address them when I get them. And if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. It helps me a lot. Thank you very much and take care.